What's up, everybody? I am back in Taiwan, and tonight I am here at Shiling Night Market. This is one of the biggest and most popular night markets here. And today I'm going to be doing something really fun. Um, you know, I've done a lot of night market stuff before, and I was looking at other YouTubers, and they've been a lot of um, them have been doing this. $100 USD uh, challenge at night markets or street food or whatever because $100 USD in Taiwan money is a lot of money and it's a lot of food. So 100 USD is roughly about 3,000 Taiwanese money. So here it is, 3, 1,000 NTD. We're gonna try use all these to get some great food and I can't show you, wait to show you guys the varieties because there's so much stuff here, so many different vendors and I am ready to eat, so let's go check it out. All right, guys, so the first thing you see is actually not any of the foods, but a lot of the vendors and games. I'm actually here really early, so some of the stuff is not open yet, but this is a cool place um, because this night market specifically has probably one of the most games out of all the night markets. But of course, there's also a lot of food too. So we're gonna go on down to, they have a downstairs that has a whole bunch of vendors. All right, you guys, so here's the entrance to go downstairs, the B1 food court. Let's head on down. All right, guys, so I found the first vendor and this is really nice. This one also has an English menu on here. And I'm telling you, it's really hard to eat 3000 worth of stuff because everything is pretty much under 100 NTD. So like there's barely anything even over 100 NTD. It's really hard to rack up 3000 worth. So this is gonna be a lot of food. Let's take a look at what we're gonna get. All right, guys, so this is what I ended up ordering. I ordered some fried shrimp. I'm also gonna be doing some uh, soup dumplings. She's starting to cook everything for me here. I also got a cold noodle, some vegetables, and fried oysters. Those are some massive shrimps, by the way. Wow. Ooh, smells really good. All right, now she added in some of the garlic and chilies, and those shrimps are looking so flavorful. Wow, look at that. So aromatic. Now she's cooking up some of the vegetables. I asked her some healthy veggies on the side. Ooh, added the seasoning. Whoa, even some chilies in there. All right, and here they're doing the fried oysters, battering it up right there and putting it in the oil. And this should be cooking up really fast. Nice. All right, guys, let's dig in. Let's start off with these cold noodles first. It is hot and humid. Usually you do not see me sweating like this, but it's hot here in Taiwan. And hopefully these cold noodles will cool me down. Oh, good. The flavor on this is like a sesame peanut noodle flavor, some chili oil, some peanut sauce and fresh cucumbers. Let's try out some of these healthy vegetables. Mmm. Oh my God. It is delicious. Wow. These vegetables are sauteed so well. There's so much flavor in here. Mm. All right, let's try these massive shrimps out. Look at that. Let's go peel these shrimps. These are huge. Wow, look at here, look at the size of that. I'm gonna dip in some of the sauce, put some of the uh, chilies on top and the garlic. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh, that shrimp is sweet and juicy and tender. Okay, let's try out some of these soup dumplings. Dip in the sauce, some ginger on top. Mm. That's good. 
And last but not least, let's try out the fried oysters. Mmm. Ooh. That seasoning on there is incredible. It's got black pepper, salt, five spice. <laughs> You're so addicting. They coat it in like a tapioca starch, so it's like a little bit sticky. Almost tastes mochi like. Mm. I think this is the star of the show right here. This fried oyster is something else. Everything is great, obviously, but that that's amazing. Mm. I want to peel a shrimp up close for you guys. These are massive shrimps. Look at that. I like the big shrimps too because it makes it a lot easier to peel and I'm not a good peeler of seafood. Y'all know that. Thank you for all the hate on that. Look at that. Mm. I'm on to like my last trip. Oh, it's so good. See, I, I hate having to peel it, man. Like, it's so freaking juicy and sweet. I just want to eat them. Mm. Oh, wow. That was so freaking delicious. I'm almost done with the oysters as well. These oysters are so freaking good. Yeah, my favorite thing here was definitely the oysters. Shalom balls are also solid. All right, guys, devoured everything from this first Scott spot. It's so freaking good. All right, guys, so first spot, here you go. Mm -hmm. Only $5.90. That was barely even half a thousand. That's not even twenty dollars the food is great and it's cheap thank you there's my change okay guys so even though that was um actually quite a lot of food i don't feel too bad it was actually very delicious and there is plenty of stuff to look at so let's keep looking right, so looking up at these stalls now looks like these are some sort of tip on meals there's so much stuff i don't know what to choose from these are oyster omelets and squid soup. I just had some oysters, so I don't really feel like eating more oysters right now. There's some little yeah. bites here. Oh, okay, she's inviting you. Uh, uh, okay, okay, you know what? I have no choice. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, okay, I, I have no choice but to sit here and try out the food. I feel like I just got tourist trapped. Like, she saw me walking, and then, um, yeah, I was given no choice but to sit here. So here I am. So you know what? This place also has a English menu, which is really nice. Oh, they even have more specials here. Cool. OK, let me take a look, see what I want. All right, so this is what I ended up ordering. I'm going to get a large order of three cup chicken because this is a very specialty Taiwanese dish. Um, and then I'm also getting a stinky tofu because I love stinky tofu and that's also very classic uh, Taiwanese. All right, guys, so I feel like I literally got tourist trapped so hard. She grabbed my hand and like led me to sit down, but it's okay. I'm here to eat some good food. So this is stinky tofu. There's some condiments on top. It's so kind of like a sour, kind of like kimchi. Pickles. It's sweet. Mm. Whoa. I don't know why it's even called stinky tofu. And maybe I'm used to the smell now, but this it's not that bad. But like the smell goes away when um you fry it. So I guess stinky tofu is not that bad when it's like this. It comes with like the sweet glazed soy sauce. And this dish
fish is barely like 50, like a dollar. Uh, it's only 50 uh, Taiwanese money. <coughs> oh. difference would be if you just use regular tofu but the taste is about the same I guess if you really can't handle the uh, pungentness then regular tofu will be fine but I just really like fried tofu in general mm. okay, this is great. all right and this is the three cup chicken Ooh, look at that so this dish in Chinese is called San Beiji, which literally translates to three cup chicken. And why it's even called three cup chicken is because it uses three ingredients, soy sauce, sugar, and cooking, uh, cooking rice wine, Shaoxing rice wine. If you're Chinese, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not Chinese, it's literally like a main ingredient in a lot of Chinese dishes. It kind of gets rid of the odor of like a really gamey meat taste. So that's why we use a lot of cooking oil when we're cooking meats or marinating it. Mm. And as a result for the sauce, you get this like nice, rich creaminess. Mm. This dish is also fried with ginger and basil. They also add chili and green onions for more flavor. I really need some rice. Usually this dish comes with the rice. I don't know why I, I, I don't have a rice. Cause it's very saucy, you know? But it's still good um, either way. The combination of sugar, soy sauce, and cooking wine for the sauce is just so good. Mm. Protein. So this one's actually a little bit expensive. This is a 500 N NTD, which is like roughly about $15 USD. But they give you a lot of chicken at least. Mm. That's very addicting. Okay guys, so the total here is 550. Here you go, thank you. All right, got my change. Okay, guys, let's continue looking at all the food. God, I love this vibe. I love seeing all the food being made. It's so freaking cool. Ooh, look at all these fried goodies. More stinky tofu. See how popular tofu is? There's tofu literally everywhere. This area also sounds some sizzling steak. We got more on this side. Oh, that's the same spot as earlier. Oh, what she got over here? Small cake wrapped in large cake. Oh, it's like crepes. Oh, that's cute. Big crepes. I don't feel very crepey right now. Oh, I do, however, feel juicy because it is so freaking hot. Let's see these drinks. We got papaya milk and boba, kumquat lemon. Uh, oh, oh, she's got an English menu. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. I didn't want to get that guava. Or they got different milks too. Tomato pineapple juice? Oh, they have that here? Okay, we're gonna go with the guava. I lied, I got a papaya milk instead of guava. Let's try this. Mm. Oh, that's very good. Okay, I think we pretty much looked at everything downstairs. We're gonna go back up now. I got my drink to cool me off. Let's go on up, cause there's a lot more just like uh, individual sweet, street vendor carts up there, it's fun. All right, you guys, now this is cool. Whoa, we got some cheese there, takoyaki. We got a whole temple and they got food in the front. Looks great, oh my God, I can't wait to try these vendors out. Oh, and check this out, you guys. This is a 4D, wow, like billboard. It looks cooler in person, looks more like 4D in person, but yeah, it looks like it's coming at you. <laughs> That's too cute. Oh my god. Oh no, it's coming at you. Let's 
get some of this. This is a famous black pepper bun. Special way to cook it. Let's get two. Okay, give me two. Right here, looks so cool. See right in front of this temple here because I think it's so cool. But yeah, let's try this out. Ooh. Oh, it's hot. The bread's like super crispy. It's a little bit dry. It's not really juicy, it's just very dry. I didn't even get to the meat yet. Mm. It's got a lot of hype on the internet because um, it's uh, it's on that anime Shokugeki. And so there's one of the characters, he makes this. Oh, okay. I finally got to the meat. There's like barely any meat. It's not even like juicy. All right, let's try. It's so hot. Whew. I'm glad it cooled down a little bit though. When I first got here, it was like sunny. Now it's like cooling down. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's like whatever. Uh, it's not as juicy as I thought it was. Oh. Oh, well, this is awesome. Look at this stand. We got some massive potatoes. Oh, many different flavors. That's cool. Huh. I'm gonna try the uh, honey These mustard. are like the biggest fries I've ever seen. Look how big this piece is. Isn't that cool? So they have like a tunnel. That tunnel like brings like potato batter into the fryer. So that's how they create this massive fry. I got honey mustard sauce. Oh, that's very good actually. Mmm, very soft. Wow. This sounds so good right now. We're getting some watermelon juice. Oh my god. Three of them for 100 NT. Let's do it. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of a breather because the heat is getting to me. I am like super sweaty. Enjoying my watermelon juice. Oh, this is so good. I chugged that papaya milk in like 30 seconds, by the way. Like, it was, it's so freaking hot. I already finished two of my Diet Cokes. Now I got my watermelon juices. It's very refreshing. Oh. And now that, that it's cooled down a little bit, there's a little bit of breeze, you know? When I walked here, it was like hot. Like, it was like 90 degrees, sun in my face, hot. I enjoy the heat, I really do. But even for me, that was way too much. Okay guys, so I'm taking a break from the food and I actually saw this stir and it actually has really cute hair clippies. Look how adorable this is. I want to get some of this. Since I use hair clippies all the time, I think this is so beautiful. And I love the little dangly thing. So he's actually so nice. So I'm buying like these three and then that one has a little dangly thing that he's going to um, move here. So I can't wait to try these out. Okay, I'm not going to count it towards the food, the uh, $100 challenge, but look, look at my hair. Isn't it, isn't it cute? I love the little dangly thing. I'm so happy. That's probably like the cutest accessory I've ever bought. But okay, let's go back to the food now. <laughs> so I got three of them. It was buy two, get one free. And then three of these like similar hair clippies here. I'll show you like the other ones I got. It's really pretty. I love the flower. And that one is a butterfly design. And then I got this flower one right here. But these are so pretty, no? So all three of them were like maybe USD 15-ish dollars. I think it was worth it. Cute. <laughs> All right, guys. So these look tasty. We got 18 pieces for 100 yen, which is about three dollars. Ooh, those look good. Look at that. Ooh, nice and crispy. She's getting some out for me. That's a lot of dumplings for three dollars. That's actually so awesome. Oh my god. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Soy sauce and chili oil. Okay, guys, so these look fantastic. This looks like a really nice take and go snack. Ooh, let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Ooh, it's hot. It's just a pork and cabbage filling. Simple, but good seen this before but that looks really cool it's got like a pancake and it's only 30 yuan each so i'm gonna get one to try it out let's try this out he added some soy sauce in the bag for me mm. 
<laughs> wow. It's like a uh, steamed flour coating. I didn't expect that, to be honest. I thought it would be more flour-like, but this is more just like steamed bun-like. Ooh. Very hot. Ooh. Okay, I finally got to the filling. Mm. It's like a soup dumpling filling. It's just a nice porky mm, meat filling with a little bit of veggie. Oh, the inside flavor is very good, but I don't really like the outside coating. It's a little bit too like plain for me. But still, I would give it a try. It's only a 30 yuan, which is about a dollar. I am so thirsty, so we're gonna get some of this orange juice. A large order is 80 yuan, which is about two and a half dollars. Here, freshly squeezed orange juice. Let's try I kept it in this little bag here, so I can carry it around while I'm walking. Oh, wow. I think they add a little bit of the lime into the orange juice, so it's not too sweet. But this is good, oh my God. Super refreshing, it's so hot right now, oh my God. Oh. Probably one of my favorite stuff. This is like a Taiwanese hot dog. So they have like a sticky rice casing. I'm gonna order three of those actually. I love these so much. And they put like, you see the like uh, vegetables on there to make, um, you know, a Taiwanese hot dog. And then also I'm gonna get some of these sausages too because these sausages are so freaking delicious. I like how many sausages because it's not too salty. It's like sweet and salty. And then she's also adding some sauce onto the hot dog. There it is. She added in the sauces and the vegetables. Hot dogs are getting ready. Ooh, look at that. Looks delicious. You're gonna wrap them individually. Looks amazing. Wow. Nice. My entree sausages to go. Put it on sticks. Ooh, she's gonna bag it all up for me. Hey, you guys, look at that. Oh my god, can't wait to take a bite of this. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. That is freaking delicious. Oh, the rice is amazing. The sauce is great. Man. I love the casing on here. The casing gives it a little bit of texture. It's like a little bit chewy. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, and I love the pickles that are going to be about to come up. Oh, this is so delicious. But yeah, with that purchase, that was about three thirty for all of that. So we're around two thousand uh, and Taiwanese money right now. We got about thousand left to spend to make a hundred USD. They started making a fresh batch over here. Wow, look at that! They even puts fresh vegetables in here. So you just put in the uh, batter in and then put in some of the uh, octopus pieces. Finish the topping off by adding in more batter, and there we go. I guess it starts cooking. Look at that. That is so crispy. I just took a little bite. It's so hot. Freshly made. Oh. 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 Yeah, been through the night market. They have so many freaking claw machines here. Oh, they have a like, souvenir shop. Oh, there's so much food going on. There's some desserts over here, some taiyaki. It looks like a lot of people are lined up for that one. Oh. Man, I love this market because you can just like, there's like everything here. You won't ever like get bored. I think I've been like walking around for like almost two hours and I'm still not through like I'm only like two thirds of a way through of a hundred dollars like there's so much food and it's so affordable and yeah oh we got more food over here looks like looks like this is like the same thing huh as the talk oh look at that it's the giant squid whoa I'm gonna get some of this I love the giant squid right, guys look at how big that giant squid is oh my god Batter it up. Oh, that's looking beautiful. That is so big. Guys, I love the flavor on this. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, I got the. Really got this. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay, guys. So 
This always cracks me up. Look what here is at the night market. Oh my god. Look at that. That is too funny. Okay, we're gonna try one of these chocolates. Okay, we got we gotta try one of these chocolates. It's too cute. It's too funny. I, I can't. I can't with that emoji. Okay, guys. So I don't know what original flavor is, but I got one of this. I actually got two of them to try. This is 300 NT, so it's about like five dollars each box. But <laughs> dude, there's even a ruler on the side. It's too cute. Oh my gosh. 10.5 centimeters. All right, guys, I'm just sitting at the store. The store owner is letting me just open it up here and eating it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so detailed. Okay, guys. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like white chocolate. Mm. It's got a nougat middle. Not bad. I actually like it a lot. Very detailed. Good for All right, guys, so this looks pretty good. It's like a ribeye steak grill. Ooh, look at that. Cutting up the meat pieces, that looks delicious. here you can like choose what flavor it is i'm probably just gonna go with the ground black actually no i'm gonna do it with the chili powder make it spicy all right guys there it is wow. looks good all right guys so that steak was probably one of the most expensive things i've had in this night market trip it was um 320 which is about like ten dollars ten dollars um which you know and u.s standards is not a lot but you know it's probably the most expensive thing so I got about 80 yen left and then for dessert, I'm going to get some dessert. I want to so I found this place, four of these sticks, this is fried milk. It's actually so freaking good. Four sticks is only a hundred. So we're going to end the night off with that. But look, they got an award for it. She's frying it up right now. And those are like the uh, frozen milk sticks, I guess. That's what it looks like. Ooh. This is how the meat looks like. It's pretty good. Let's try this out. It is so hot. I am sweating. Right, the flavor is good, the quality isn't. Very chewy. Not worth the 320, considering there's so much other good stuff here, but hey, we tried it out. End the night off with this fried milk. Ooh, oh my god. Mm, that is steamy. That's so good. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. That's probably my favorite thing of the night. Wow. So that was quite the trip. Oh my god. It was a very, very, very long night. That was a lot of freaking food. But we did it just shy a little bit over just a tad bit over 3000 NT and we did it. We got all that food and everything was delicious. Had a lot of fun exploring and hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So yeah, this is definitely something you gotta do if you come to Taiwan. The night markets are insane. It's just so fun to explore and it's just a great vibe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming. And on my Instagram page, I do a lot of giveaways. And on my Twitter page, I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.